Global Exchange is an advocacy group and non-governmental organization NGO, based in San Francisco, California, United States. The group has defined its mission as to promote human rights and social, economic, and environmental justice around the world. It deals with a wide range of issues ranging from the U.S. war in Iraq to worker abuse and fair trade issues. Global Exchange is a 501 organization and its board of directors includes Walter Turner, Wanda Whitaker, Dale Wannan, Deborah James, and Alan Gunn. Since inception, Global Exchange has reached thousands of members and supporters, through educating the U.S. public about root causes of injustice and the impacts of U.S. government policies and corporate practices. The group builds people-to-people -people ties, engages grassroots education for action and linking social and environmental movements through public education, speaking tours, experiential travel called reality tours and activism. History In 1988, Medea Benjamin, Kevin Danaher, Kirsten Moller, and Kathy Clarick founded Global Exchange. The formation of the organization was rooted in the increasing interdependence of national economies and the subsequent need to build political alliances across national boundaries to protect the economic, social and political rights, along with Rainforest Action Network and the Ruckus Society. Global Exchange played a central role in organizing the 1999 Seattle WTO protests against the World Trade Organization (WTO) summit in Seattle in 1999. In 2001, Global Exchange produced a Green Festival in Seattle, Washington. In 2011, Global Exchange released a book called The Rights of Nature: The Case for a Universal Declaration of the Rights of Mother Earth, with articles by Maud Barlow, Pablo Solon Romero, Vandana Shiva, N. Nimmo Bassi and others. Topic activities Global Exchange tries to increase public awareness of what it feels are the root causes of injustice. For this it promotes a change from a profit-oriented global economy to people-oriented local economies which respect the rights of workers and nature. Its community rights program assists communities confronted by corporate projects to assert their right to make decisions that place the rights of residents above the legal rights of corporations. It also focuses on advancing the rights of nature, a paradigm shift championed by the World People's Conference on Climate Change and the Rights of Mother Earth held in Cochabamba, Bolivia in 2010, by President Evo Morales. The Economic Activism for Palestine project focuses on corporate accountability for human rights and international law violations in Palestine. The program targets corporations that are directly involved in Israeli settlement activity in the occupied West Bank. The Fair Trade Program promotes fair trade to end child and forced labor and trafficking in the cocoa industry, as well as educates and empowers children and adults to advocate for and purchase fair trade. Its corporate campaigns targeted, among others, Starbucks and M&Ms. Currently Global Exchange is working with Green America and the International Labor Rights Forum to push the Hershey Company to go fair trade and end forced labor in the Theobroma cacao fields. The campaign is called Raise the Bar. Hershey Global Exchange was part of a coalition of groups that charged U.S. retailers, including Gap, with illegally underpaying workers in the sweatshops in Saipan. The Mexico program confronts the rising violence and unrest. The program develops dialogue and effective advocacy toward bilateral military policies, gun trafficking, drug policy, and democratic reform. The Elect Democracy campaign challenges corporate money in U.S. politics. 
The campaign strategy is to expose the impact of the fire economy campaign contributions and to provide factual examples of how a political campaign dependency upon corporate campaign contributions and subsequent corporate lobbying can lead to the prioritization of corporate interests over the needs of the we are the 99%. The ultimate goal of the campaign is to increase accountability through campaign finance reform. The Green Economy Leadership Training (GELT) program ran from 2010 to 2012 to implement green economy solutions, home weatherization, establishing urban gardens, etc., while training individuals in how to build, work, and live in a new green economy, clean energy framework. Gelt was based in Highland Park, a low-income community in Detroit. Dozens of full-time volunteers worked side-by-side -side with Highland Park community members to put energy efficiency and lead for neighborhood development guidelines into practice, demonstrating what the transition to and opportunities in a clean energy economy look like. Global Exchange gives reality tours to various countries of the world with the stated aim of educating the visitor with the realities of living in different cultures. Global Exchange Reality Tours organizes trips to over 30 countries in Latin America, Africa, Asia and the Middle East. Reality Tours offer experiential educational tours, connecting people to issues, issues to movements, and movements to social change Social change. Global Exchange offers legal trips to Cuba for U.S. citizens. As part of their campaign to reduce oil consumption, on November 29, 2006, two protesters from Global Exchange and Rainforest Action Network, Mike Hudema and Matt Leonard, at the Greater Los Angeles Auto Show walked onto a press stage where General Motors CEO Rick Wagoner was speaking and tried to get him to sign a pledge making GM the most fuel-efficient car company by 2010. Wagoner refused to sign, saying that he promised just that in his keynote speech. Topic: Criticism. The World Trade Organization has claimed that a number of websites such as the Global Exchange, etc., contain accusations against the WTO which are based on incorrect information or downright falsehoods." The conservative think tank Capital Research Center claims that the group was responsible for violent demonstrations at the World Trade Organization meetings in Seattle in 1999. It also claims that Global Exchange appears to be spearheading former Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez's public relations efforts in the United States by offering reality tours for American tourists in Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> 